Saints of God, welcome to Sabbath School Devotion. My name, Edwin Estime. This week, we studied the analogy that Christ gave in John 12, verse 24, about dying like a seed. Sunday, we spent time dissecting this analogy and relating it to the life of Christ. We realized that this is referring to a life of service to the will of God. Monday, we explored how we come in knowing what is God's will for us. Paul tells us in Romans 12, verse 1 and 2, that we must present our bodies as a living sacrifice to God, which will enable us to transform and renew our minds so that we can discern God's will. Tuesday, we start to look at what tendencies we may have that may keep us from dying like a seed or what things may prevent us from following the will of God. We saw from the example of Eli and his sons that we have to not only listen to God, but we also have to act upon what he tells us to do. And lastly, yesterday, we also looked at another human tendency that may keep us from dying like a seed, and that is self-reliance. Submission to God's will can be undermined as we rely on our own strength. It also is possible to rely on other substitutes for God. And this is what we're going to talk about today. Substitutes. First, let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for all that you have done. We thank you for being there for us and protecting us, Lord. Lord, now today we're going to talk about substitutes. And we're asking that you do not allow anything to substitute your place in our lives. In Jesus we pray. Amen. Sometimes when people feel like certain key areas of their lives are lacking, they will turn to something to fill up that void. Often what they turn to is something that they end up abusing and cause some negative effects on their either physical health, mental health, and often their relationships with other people. And when some people feel depressed, they may turn to something like shopping for something to make them feel happy. Or they may even turn to drugs, alcohol, or any other forms of substance abuse to temporarily relieve themselves of the pain and the hurt that they feel inside. Sometimes those individuals may turn to food to feel a sense of joy. There is a whole documentary called My 600 Pound Life where you find many individuals turn to food due to traumatic situations that happened earlier in their lives. Some people, when they feel inadequate, look to pursue fame. When others have difficulties with their spouse, they look for someone else to give them intimacy and excitement. We can find many things to relieve the pressure or the pain that we feel, but they do not necessarily solve the problem or teach us how to handle the situation better the next time. And really, only supernatural help from God can do that. The problem is that many times we depend on substitutes for God rather on God himself. And I could think of three substitutes that we may use instead of God. And I'm sure there could be many more, but just bear with me. First, we use human logic or past experience when we need fresh revelation. This takes us back to what we talked about yesterday, about self-reliance. We begin to rely on our ability to relieve the pain because, hey, we did it in the past before, and we do not feel the need for any additional help. Second, we block problems from our minds when we need to find solutions. You tend to hear people trying to block their personal problems or the demons that haunt them by some form of abuse, whether it's substance abuse, whether it's self-harm, um, it could be pornography or whatever it be. They are hoping that through these substitutes, they could get relief from the pain that they currently feel. Third and last, we escape reality and avoid God when we need communion with him for divine power. There are many people who act like there is no problem at all. They are only fooling themselves, thinking that whatever they are going through is normal and okay. 
Zechariah helps us to focus on what really matters when we are tempted to use substitutes. Let's look at what he says in Zechariah 4, verse 6. Then he said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. What God is saying here is that your might will not relieve you from your mental pain and anxiety that you are currently struggling with. What God is saying is that your power, your own will will not relieve you from your mental anguish and the deep, dark void that you feel in your heart. What God is saying here is that it is only by his spirit that we can overcome any issues that we face. It is only by his spirit we can overcome any obstacles that we face. It is only by his spirit that you can overcome any mental struggles that we face. What God is saying here is that it is only by his spirit that we can overcome the crucibles that we are in. It is only by his spirit we are able to die like a seed and become a plant that will bear fruit for all to see. Brothers and sisters, when stress comes, instead of reaching out for food, instead of reaching out for the TV or social media, instead of reaching out towards drugs or any other substance abuse, submit yourself to God. Submit yourself to his matchless love. Submit yourself to his spirit and you will die like a seed. I want to thank you for joining me this week as we studied Dying Like a Seed. We'll meet up again on Sunday as we study Christ in the Crucible. And if you haven't done so already, click on the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell icon so you don't miss a single Sunday School devotion. As always, saints, keep the faith.